Hey viewers, quick mandatory heads up, my copy of Horizon Zero Dawn was provided to me free by PlayStation. Besides that, my opinions of the game are my own, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Alrighty, I've spent the last, like, 20 minutes selling everything and reorganizing my modifications, and I finally delved a little bit into one of the stats. So this entire time, I have been sitting here like, what the hell is handling? And I just noticed, legitimately now, that when you're looking at weapons, it will tell you the statistics for them, or what the statistic types do on the right side of the screen over there. Did not notice it this entire time. It was pretty much just the middle portion. To give credit to myself, I have a mic in front of me, so sometimes the right side of my screen is legitimately, like I can't see it with my right eye. If I close my left eye, that's not this. I don't even fucking acknowledge the shit on the right side of my screen sometimes, but, huh. So it affects aim and, or like handling affects aim and reload speed. And then everything else was obvious. Um, and so I finally was like, huh, you know what? My sharp shot arrow, or my shot, sharp shot bow, really sucks to use because of how long it takes to charge. And so I slapped on a bunch of handling and it actually goes quite a bit faster. Not terribly fast in comparison to just whoop. But this is, this is definitely a difference. Like, if I were to go in, modify weapons, and take everything off. Holy shit. Yeah. So, I actually think we're gonna, I'm gonna keep that. I think we're gonna keep handling, uh, because while I do like damage, I think we'll mix it a little bit. Uh, so we'll have, like, a high damage one, and then a couple of handlings. Just so I can have as much as possible. 34%. I shouldn't be taking the 40. And what is it? Freeze one when I could be putting that on something else. But being able to aim and shoot it faster would be really nice. I wonder if aiming actually affects like sensitivity speed or if it's just talking about the speed in which you can go into the mode. Whoop. Whoop. It's still slow, but I under I acknowledge that this is a sniper bow. Also, whoa, that's intense. That is an intense level of fog. Uh, all right. So where are we going? Ah, okay. We've got to follow this guy around. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Okay. Well, actually, before I go completely, we're still not done. I also changed out some of my outfit things. So, I, I, so this entire time on my Nora Protector Heavy Armor, I've been having a ton of ranged resistances, so that way I could take a little bit extra ranged attacks, and I wanted this to be kind of like a mixed armor. But I've decided to change that, and now I've slapped- oh, mostly because these are like amazing items. Look at that. Three different stat changes, including resist ranged attacks. So I have that, and that should help me out a little bit, especially against uh, enemies like the Rock Breakers, because I'm pretty sure that most of their attacks that hit me would be considered melee attacks. And maybe they'll save my life. Maybe they'll save my life. So we have that, and that makes me happy. Uh, I also needed to <laughs> go through this because I just remembered that I have it. So I can't go yet because I might have a ton of items to sell. Oh, my horses. I'm still getting comments like, "Oh God, I'm going to your boxes." Like 90% of things that are in, 90% of the things that are in these boxes are just like resources. Resources that I already have an extensive amount on. Uh, but oh well. Actually, can I buy anything off of you now that I have some of these items? I need two luminous braidings to buy a spark worker. Damn. I also, I finally went in and I counted. I think that we're missing seven weapons. Or seven other types of weapons. Because I went in, I counted the slots that we have. We have 35 slots. And I believe I counted... I already forgot the number, but I counted... We're, we're, we're missing seven weapons. If we include everything that I already have, and everything that I can currently buy. 
So there's seven weapons that aren't here, and they're probably going to be a mix of upgrades like these, like lodge caster stuff, and then also maybe another weapon type. And then I didn't count armor, but I'm excited. I'm excited at the possibility of finding new gear as we progress through the game. So let me sell all this crap and then we can move on finally. Let's get a move on. <laughs> Spent so much time in the menus just now. Or not at this very moment, but just over the last 30 to 40 minutes going in this long stuff. Oh, he didn't leave the city? Well, he went further into it. Although I guess this isn't really a city. More like a little town. If even that. I need, I need more terminologies. It's right in front of me. Oh? Huh? Did he fucking like- Oh, he died! I was like, did he fucking run back here and go into the river or something? No, he's- he died! Shit. Well, that's some big implications right there. Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliffe. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. That's impressive that she deduced that because, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't have been able to tell him, like, okay, there's a line going up and then to the right. Is it gonna be legitimately? Okay, so it's just straight north of the city. Alrighty, let's go to Durval's camp. Into the borderlands. Hurry up, Edrin! I'm much faster than you! I'm gonna get there before you can even meet up with your men! <whistles> Alright, let's get a move on. It's gonna suck because I don't have any healing items, but maybe we can stealth into here. And if that happens, then I don't even need to have healing items. Oh boy. Uh, Sawtooth. Okay. Ravagers and Salty look very similar to me. So I have to kind of like take an extra second and be like, is that, is that a Sawtooth or is it going to be a Ravager that shoots the hell out of me? Come on, go around. Yeah, I keep hopping over the rocks. I like how noisy these things are. Or how all of the machines are. They have no need to make as much noise as they fucking do, but it, they still do it. Ooh. Okay. Some of these are just... Fire, or like torches. I thought they were gonna end up being like heads, like, Oh, don't come in here, we'll kill you. Still, they seem to have a very... Bandit-esque kind of architecture and design. Mostly the bandits in this game have been like, Yeah, let's just stick a bunch of sharpened sticks around everything. That'll scare them off. But it does the opposite. It makes me want to go over there and kill them. Ooh, that's a camp. <laughs> oh, those poor little machines! Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. All right. So does she want me to kill the outlanders and machines? So I guess I can free up the machines and have them fight everybody for me. Is that a Ravager? Oh. 
Yeah, that can do some damage. Restraints, iron alloy. Connection between chains and frame may be vulnerable to impact. Well, we might have to try and shoot those down. Let me just tag everybody first. What if I just want to stab everybody? Ah, there's a lot of them. All right, let's make some noise. Let's see if I can. Well, first off, we're just gonna shoot this guy in the face. All right. Next, we're gonna see if I can free these guys just by shooting the arrows. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm gonna have to manually do it. But hey, I'm on your side. Chill out. Hey, little guy. Oh, they're coming in. Uh oh. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> I feel this is gonna go the opposite of the way I needed it to. That's fine! Whoa! Excuse you. Ow. Alright, I blasted off the gun. That's all I wanted. Take it! And blast! Ow. I'll take the damage, whatever. That's why I have melee resistance. Alright! Let's push on in! Oh, I can free them from a distance. I just missed, I guess. Well, why do they have to attack me? I'm on your side, sorta, of, kind of. Fucking machines, you get captured and tortured, and you're like, yeah, the chick who saved me is my enemy. Fucking machines. I'm gonna zero down the hell out of you guys. Well, you know what? I can do something about that. Boom, knocked out. Let's rumble. Uh huh. Now my melee attacks might be more valuable. So is that it? They actually still have machines in here. Jesus. I don't even want to release the machines. I think all my friends died. This would be a good opportunity to equip my handy dandy Osram arrow breaker armor. Go ahead, try and shoot me. My armor. You're not gonna see it coming. Who tanked the shots for me? Okay, you know, you can still just try and hit me. Duck down. <laughs> he did, he did, he did duck down. Out. And headshot! No, not a headshot. What? Well, that's annoying. I missed! You did! Ooh, but I didn't there. Alright. Look at this guy, he's like, oh. Uh, I don't- she's too far away, guys. I, I don't know what to do about this. You guys made me an elite and uh, I have all this heavy armor, but- Oh no, I've been shot! <laughs> this poor guy's too far away for his own good. Oh, this is good. You don't actually have to... ...do anything... ...to the machines. We can just leave them here. That's exactly what we do, even though I'm super tempted to kill them. But they're not doing anybody any harm, being tied up. Let's leave them here. The rest of their tortured lives. I'm sure they'll break free eventually. The chain's got to rust. With those legs, that machine looks as fast as it is loud. I better be careful. I guess I could also try and override it. <laughs> mm. Did 
Do I really have to attack it? What up? We're overriding. What just happened? Why is it freezing? Are there mercenaries about? Or did Aaron shoot? Aaron! Aaron, don't shoot the people I'm attacking. Look, now it's all, like, hissing hair, air out of its fucking chest. I don't even know if that's because of damage or if it's supposed to do that, actually. Huh. Oh well. You know, you right, you right. I just want to take off your... your gun. Oh. Yeah, okay. Ah! Uh, I fucking... the long leg got in the way. That is so unfortunate. Okay. Ursa! Are you alive? Sonic device. Emitting high frequency device sounds to paralyze humans. That's bad. Watch out for the trap, man. Ah! Nerva says you gotta eat dirt. I don't wanna eat dirt, uh. She's so obvious from here, what the hell? Bad day for one of us. Alright, defeat Durval's champion. You got it! How do you like this Ravager cannon, friend? Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. <laughs> so he must have a way to resist. Ah, he plugged up his ears. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. And <laughs> watch him still follow me in there. Edrin, you might want to watch out. Oh, I can s disable it. Never mind. Is there just like a further sound in here? Yeah, Edrin? Actually, I don't know where Edrin is. I think he's just waiting. He's waiting until I disable everything. Alright, you got it. Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. Oh. Couldn't let you go out. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. 
No, no, don't be dead. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Oh man. All this effort and she dies as we find her. That sucks. <sighs> well. We have to fight on in her memory. Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find her vault too. What does this say? A leather bound journal that contains a stray letter. My loyal customer, Aelin Forgeman. I hope your plans for a forge in Upper Meridian are moving forward, and we're honored you chose us to provide the blaze you need. We've received payment for the third shipment, and we are most thankful for your prompt rem remuneration. Unfortunately, our hunters are struggling to cover the order. We apologize for the delay, but this is unusually this is an unusually large request. As soon as we have it, we'll deliver it to your warehouse as promised. With, with utmost respect, Garand Huntmaster. So he started a place... He's trying to start a forge, a fake forge, so he can burn the city down. This machine's been picked apart with precision. Unknown materials, highly advanced design. What is this, anyways? Is this like a long jaw? Or long jaw, a long leg? Cut into bits so he can use the sonic sounds? Man, that sucks. Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. Recording device. Tin, copper, iron, simple audio playback using metal pins on a revolving cylinder. What happens when I turn it on? He has a music box? I think I've got it working. Oh! There. Now, say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. I, I just want to hear your voice, and keep it for later. I'll sing, Papa. La 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 la. Oh. <laughs> there, a song and a laugh, even better than words. And now I can hear them whenever I want. We're done then. Off to bed with you. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Is she gone? What are we going to do? The raids are getting closer and closer to Main Spring. How much longer can we hide like this? A keepsake from his family. Durval's got nothing left to lose. Ah. Uh, the Karja killed his wife and kid, and he's really angry. I think we might have been told that beforehand, but now it's just like more concrete. If we weren't told it before. Wow, we found new information. I didn't expect to find, like, a recording box. I thought this was a straight-up music box. Derval's definitely got a head for technology. He also doesn't sound like a straight-up evil villain, right? <laughs> usually, you're, you usually get, like, these angry... Mm, yeah, I'm talking, talking to the mic. I want to hear your voice forever. <laughs> he just sounds like a normal guy. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. All right. So this mission did end up leading into another portion. So we need to head back and save the city. The sun shall fall, level 18. The Osram warlord Derval kidnapped and tortured Ursa, who later died of her wounds. Now he's on his way to Meridian to take revenge on the Karja. He must be stopped at all costs. You got it. And I assume this is probably the last one of the mission because it gives us a skill point. So I think we actually do cap out at level 50. 
Because I'm realizing now that we're... I'm remembering that we're getting skill points from missions and, and doing certain tasks. So what we'll probably end up having is we'll hit level 50, we'll grab fighting back, and then we'll have to do quests for the last three abilities. But we're doing alright so far. Although, what the fuck was the long leg fighting? <laughs> it was fighting in the middle of, of that cutscene. Or at least just making a lot of noise. I'm down there, long leg. Can I just shoot these guys in the eyeballs? Get my XP from them. There you go. I kind of feel bad for uh, the way we took out this place. I didn't mean for Adrian's men to die. I just didn't know how to fucking free these things from their chains. I either had to shoot them directly or break the chains to melee, and so I was only able to do that. Melee attacks. I wanted to do it in a stealthy way, though, so that way the enemies wouldn't just attack me as soon as I refreed them. And it just never really happened. Of course, with the other long leg, we freed it, and then... Over... Over... Yeah. We overridden it? We overrided it? We... Yeah, I think override. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the fucking terminology to use there. We used override on it, put it to our side, and I got to fight, like, two things. And that was it. Well, my plans are still generally the same. We're gonna... just change up a little bit. Rather than heading to... Sunfall. I think that's what it's called. We're gonna go grab a flower and then head to the palace. We have to save Avad and his people. Meridian doesn't deserve to fall for the actions of the past Mad King. Oh boy. Whoa there. Oh, you know what? I just realized this is a charger rather than broadhead. So it does actually change up. I didn't notice. I think my charger's stuck, though. <laughs> Alright, farewell, little charger. We're gonna equip stealth. And just try not to engage with the Stormbird. If it sees us, we'll swap out to our heavier armor, but... I'm not in the mood to fight right now. I just want to get the flower and save... Meridian! So where is this flower? The layout of this land makes me think there's gonna be a lot more around here than I previously thought. Like this looks like what you'd find around a Banuk figurine. But nope, it's just a flower. A flower that lays beyond this land. How has that not been pushed off by the river? That's a really fast river. Alright, we're gonna keep running and see if it notices us at all. I think we're... I think my stealth armor actually makes it... ...not see us at all. At least not from that height. Oh. And here we found one edge of the map with its giant gates that leads into who knows where. Okay. Ah, I think that's it. Metal flower. So it did just start to see us. But that's all right. We'll just crouch. Aha! Stealth armor. Okay. <clears throat> In autumn true or uh, autumn true. In autumn rain, the grasses rot and die. Below the steps, the juming color is fresh. Full green leaves cover the stems like feathers, and countless flowers bloom like golden coins. The cold wind moaning blows against you fiercely. I fear that soon you'll find it hard to stand. 
Upstairs, the scholar lets down his white hair. He faces the wind, breathes the fragrance, and weeps. Well, that sounds depressing. That's, uh, that's what I get from that. That just sounds all depressing. He smells the fragrance. It reminds him of something in his aging days. And then he's just gone. Something's got to happen here. For there to be a campfire all the way up top of this area? I guess we'll find out someday. For now, though, let's head back to Meridian. All right. Osram spark worker armor. I don't even think I'll... I don't think I'll ever wear... These, but at least I'll have them, and that's what I need when I'm sitting here overflowing with money. Just, just give it to me, man. I'll make that my job. Same with these, because all I need are hearts, and then I, I can just go to the other side of Meridian for that. That's not what I need for now. I need to help the city. Go to the palace. Am I gonna warn them? Or is Derval or is it gonna be too late and Derval's gonna be there? Oh boy. I should craft some of my arrows. Oh god. I'm ready to fight. The game isn't ready to get out of the menu though. Come on, game, I believe in you. Did I exit it too fast? Did I break it? There we go. That was weird. Talk to Avad. <laughs> Just gonna casually run by everybody and talk to Avad, don't worry. Sun King does need to talk to everybody else. Oh, hey, I'll he actually went through all the people. Ha! That was one of those things where I just figured they were gonna let that line sit there forever. But I guess not. Hey again, viewers, thank you for watching through this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comments. And as a mandatory reminder, this game was provided to me for free by PlayStation. Thank you very much, PlayStation, and again, thank you, viewers.